the, the approach that BLAST uses is basically the same for DNA as it is for proteins. Some of the parameters are different. So usually in DNA, you have a plus one score if it's the same, and either a zero or a minus one score if it's different. And there's no, usually no real difference between saying I'm gonna switch from a C to a T, to a C to an A, to a C to a G. It's just either zero or minus one, whereas C to a C would be plus one. In amino acids, we have um, positive and negative scores. So let's take a look at what would happen with uh, an amino acid string. So in our database, we are going to have a protein that has this sequence. OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to index our protein so that when we come with a query, we can quickly find do we have something like our our um, protein in our database. But instead of indexing all of the words, what we're going to do is we're going to count what would be an e the score for an exact match, and then index those words that are above a certain threshold. So we would, for example, take the small word LIA, and this is with a word size of three, it came a size of three. And we would say that if we go from an L to an L, we have a score of four. From an I to an I, we have a score of four. And from an I to an A, we have a score of four. And so our score would be 12. And that basically is the biggest score that that word can get, right? Because the biggest score is always amino acid to itself. You're never going to get a better score than that, regardless of what other substitutions you have. Our second word, we look at the scores for a W to a W that has a score of 11, an H to an H has a score of 8, and a C to a C has a score of 9. And when we add those up, our score becomes 28. So if we find a word, LIA, it only gives us a score of 12. That's the best we can get. If we find the word WHC, we're going to get a score of 28. So that three-letter word is much more important than this three-letter word. Right? In fact, these are relatively small amino acids. They don't have that big bulky structure like I drew up. And so it's quite easy to go from one of these to any of the other ones. In this case, these amino acids are more complex. They have bigger structure. And the protein's like, holy moly, dude, calm down. I can't change. And so these alignments get scored higher. Uh, we can do the same with the last two words. And our M to M gets a score of 5, our P to P gets a score of 7, and our N to N gets a score of 6. And then our last word, which is just A going to itself three times, always gets a score of 4. So this one adds up to 12, and this one adds up to 18. When we're building the index, we only want to keep things that are actually going to be useful to us. And so we say, you know what, we've got a threshold, and our threshold for being really brilliant and important is 15. It may, may or may not be 15. I'm just making that up so I can throw away these two words. Um, and then I'm going to keep these, these words. And so in my database, the way that I register this sequence is by having these two words here. And um, these are, are the maximum scores that I can get. Let's remember that we're keeping WHC and MPN. That's how I index my database. And I can pre-compute that index pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, before we do any searching, right? So I just have that pre-computed, sitting around on my laptop doing nothing, taking up bytes. So now what I do, so this is my database sequence, and now what I do is I'm, I have what I call the query sequence, and the query sequence is the one that we're trying to find a match to, yeah? And so I take my query sequence, and I've indexed my database. The only words I've kept are WHC and MPN. And lo and behold, 
not surprisingly, because the example wouldn't work if I didn't have those there, then I find those two words, okay? And my uh, WHC scored 28, and my MPN scored 18, which gives me an initial score of 46. Now, I'm not saying what 46 is, whether that's good or bad, that's just my initial score, but one of the filters that you can apply is on this initial score, which is just based on word matching. And word matching is really easy. You can do that really fast in computer science. Yeah? And so I've got a score. I can apply a threshold and say, hey, I think that this is going to be important. I should keep it. Or I think that this is just by chance. It's just a bit of junk. The score is not really that high. I'm going to throw it away. If we um, decide to keep that score, then this is the, the step that's called the seed. Then we do the extend part. And what we do is we start with our WHC. And so we got a score for each of those positions. And then we go to the adjacent amino acids. And so this is an A. And of course, we have an A to an A match. And so we get another positive score. And then we get an I to an A, and then we get an L to an I. Okay. That's one way we can extend it. Um, we can also try and extend this particular WHC match in the other direction. And in our query sequence, all we have is an A before we run into our next word. And the A doesn't match anything. Similarly, we can start with the other word. And in our database, we have MPN AAA. And in our query, we can match A to D, and then uh, A to D again, and then A to A. And we can keep matching. And if we try and go the other way, all we have is an A here. Now that we've extended, we can join these two extensions and say, look, basically, we've got the same thing. And um, we're going to say our alignment is going to be LIA, WHC, MPN, AAA, and IAA, WHC, MPN, BDA. OK? And what do we do about this little thing here? We put a little gap there, and we say, this is a gap. And I'll talk about gaps in just one second. Now we can actually score this whole thing. So if we go from an L to an I, we get a score of 2. If we go from I to an A, we get a score of 4. If we go from A to A, we get a score of 4. A W to a W is 11. A H to an H is 8. A C to a C is 9. And we're not gonna I'm going to ignore the gap, because we don't actually know how to score that for a second. An M to an M is 5. A P to a P is 7. An N to an N is 6. An A to a D is minus 2. An A to a D is minus 2. And an A to an A is 4. And that gives me a sum total of 56. Okay. Now, in this case, this is the only protein I've got, the only sequence I've got. And so I kind of run out of, uh, of sequence before I can do anything. If you have a very long sequence, the way that you do it is that you keep a running track of the score. So when we're extending this word, we've got 5, 7, 6, which is 18. And then we get minus 2, so now our score is 16. Then we get minus 2, so now our score is 14. And now we get a 4, so now our score is 18 again. If we had a minus 10, a minus 8, then we'd be down to 0 a minus 2 would be below 0. And so you keep extending the alignment while the score is positive. That's basically the rule. 